backwards. Orange, blue, brown, black, dark, green, yellow, crimson, light, green, red, white. I have thirty-six dollars. And there are three people I want to share this with or between them. To one of them, I'll give one-fourth. To the other, twice that much. And to the third, what is left? Could you find how many dollars each got? Let's do it again so that you get it quite clear in your mind. It's a very easy question. I have 36... The grade one class of St. George's School in Montreal recently had a visitor. Dr. Caleb Getenio, who has visited children in many different countries in connection with an unusual way of teaching the science of numbers. And what is left to the last? How many dollars will each get? Find it out. You know it? What is it, Andrew? He gave nine dollars to one of them, nine dollars to the other dog ones, and there was eighteen dollars left. For whom? Well, for the other one. Yes, but did you give it in the same order as I gave it? No. Well, we better give that to the same order and see how we do it. Let's he see. gave nine dollars to the first person, then eighteen dollars to, to the how do you get this answer, Angela? Well, it keeps five dollars for you. Fractions in grade one. Some people, remembering their own school days, may find it hard to believe. This approach to mathematics teaching begins with a pile of colored sticks of varying lengths. The children soon learn which stick is which, merely by the feel of its length. Will you take one white rod, one red rod, one green, light green, and purple, the purple one, and add the yellow one? Will you hold them in your hands, mix them well, and put them behind your back? Now, will you find the green one. Put it back, mix them well, and now bring the purple one out. Try again. Put it back. Mix them well. You know how many you have? Five. Well, put them behind your back. And find the red one. This system of teaching arithmetic does not begin with numbers. In September, when these youngsters entered grade one, their regular class teacher started them out playing simple games with the sticks. And they soon got to know thoroughly what any child with the senses of sight and touch can grasp without even being taught. Ideas of greater than, less than, bigger, smaller. Put them behind your back and find the white one. Now that you know which is which, put them in front of you, make a staircase. With all of them, and not only these five, and complete the staircase. Mathematics may be defined as perceiving relationships. About 15 years ago, a Belgian schoolmaster called Georges Cuisinier, who is also a musician, was puzzled by the fact that children have little difficulty in mastering the relationship of a high note to a lower note in a melody, but are generally baffled by the relationships of abstract numbers. 
So he made for his pupils some very simple colored sticks or rods and started teaching arithmetic with their aid. Mathematics teachers from other countries, having observed the new method in action, saw its possibilities. Later, after further development, this method began to find its way into other classrooms. All of us got it? Yes. 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 Now, look at it. Look at it. Do you know them all? Yes. We shall see. Shut your eyes. Now, start with the little white one and go up. Say the colors. White, red, light, green, crimson, yellow, dark green, black, brown, blue, orange. Backwards. Only after they have a thorough picture in their minds of the relationship of the sticks to one another do these grade one pupils begin to attach to them the familiar names of ordinary arithmetic. Good. Now, let's find their new names if we call the white one one. If the white one is one, what's the name of the red? Two. Two. And the light green? Three. And the purple? Four. And the yellow? The dark green? Six. The black? Seven. The brown? Eight. Eight. The orange? Nine. Ten. Nine. The Ten. orange? Ten. Ten. And the blue? Nine. Now let me see whether you can find which, which, uh, how many white ones will go into this? Say it. Seven. Seven. Into this. Three. Into this. Two. Into this. Eight. Into this. Nine. Into this. Five. Into this. Six. Into this. Seven. Into this. Nine. Into this. Ten. Into this. Nineteen. Nineteen. What is it? Nineteen. Into this. Into this. Nineteen. And into this. Nineteen. Well, now we're going to play a game like this. You hold one orange rod and you place it in front of each of the staircase and give me the names of the lengths. Place it end to end with the white. What's the name for that length? Eleven. What is it? Eleven. And with the black? Seventeen. And with the orange? Twenty. And with the... the purple? Fourteen. Shut your eyes. Ten and ten is how much? Twenty. Ten and ten and seven is how much? Ten and ten and seven is how much? Twenty-seven. From twenty-seven I take away seventeen. What's left? Ten. ten. From twenty-seven I take away seventeen. Make sure in your minds. What is it? Ten. Ten and seventeen is how much? Seventeen. Ten and seventeen, I asked David. Twenty-seven. What is it? Open your eyes. Two tens and seven is how much? Twenty-seven. All right, now make the length twenty-seven. Can you make the length twenty-seven? 